Hello Year 8, I'm making this video just to clear up any um, confusion over the work that you have to do because I know a couple of you had some questions about it which is absolutely fine so in a bid to just make life a little bit easier for, for all of you um, I thought I'd make this instruction video but before we get into that I have some very exciting <laughs> serious stuff right guys and it is that Crown's back. Um, yeah, I managed to retrieve it from the classroom, so I know that'll be very exciting for a lot. Um, but getting into uh, what you actually have to do. So you will see on Frog, and you should have seen last week that there is this project booklet, um, which the first page of which, or at least the top of the first page of which, looks something like this. And um, there are basically two things that I'm hoping for, or I'm hoping to see from each of you. Firstly, the board game. Now, the board game in itself, before I go into this, a slight disclaimer, um, these circumstances weren't predicted when we came up with these lessons. Uh, we didn't know that this was going to happen. We plan our lessons way out in advance. So with that in mind, and also being very conscious of the fact that I do not want to put anyone at risk of falling foul of the government's guidelines um, and fully understanding that things like gathering resources might be tricky. If you want to just describe the concept of your board game to me, that is absolutely fine. OK, um, because realistically, I know for a number of you, it might be quite difficult to put this together when um, you know, you're not really supposed to be leaving home that much. But as such, as to what this task actually wants, or just to introduce it, um, we've been looking at different religious responses to environmental issues and the world around us, um, including questions such as, does the way we treat our planet affect us in the afterlife? Why might some people choose to practice vegetarianism? Um, how do people's attitudes towards animal testing differ? How are we damaging the planet? How can we make a difference in stewards? Um, and um, yeah, and if, if we had been doing this in class, you'd have basically been working in pairs to produce a board game on those religious responses to the environment. Um, and um, for what the board game should actually be um, based on or how it should look is it must be on the topic of our environment, so the world around us. Uh, must be for a minimum of two players, have a catchy name for your game, a colourful and original design. It must consolidate the key questions we have studied over the half term. Um, it must refer to a minimum of two religions. Now, particularly on this point, a few of you got a bit um, confused on this because, yes, we haven't spent lessons breaking down each religion one by one. Um, instead, we kind of made references to religions throughout. Um, so to, to, for how to uh, apply this, you might, for example, if you were doing, if your game was on something like vegetarianism, you could bring in Buddhist concepts on vegetarianism and sorry, Buddhist beliefs in veg, uh, about vegetarianism uh, by referring back to the five precepts. That would be a really good example. Um, but entirely up to you. Think about, uh, you know, when it comes to the afterlife, what do Christians believe about the afterlife? Um, and how is that different to other groups or other religions? Sorry. Um, so, you know, just try to refer to at least two religions um, and try to think of a variety of learning styles. So questions, pictures, well, etc, etc, um, and try to use some religious terminology. Um, so specific names of religions. Think about if you can refer it to those boopy terms. So benevolent, omnipresent, om omnipotent, etc. Um, and try to show how religions can be similar and or different on this issue of our environment. So for some of you who are struggling for um, inspiration for how your board game should actually look. Um, some ideas might include things like snakes. You could do snakes and ladders related to good karma and bad karma, perhaps. Uh, you could do a fit game themed on the journey to the soul. You could do it on a banyan tree layout. The shape of, uh, you could make it about the shape of the earth. You could do a spin the wheel. Um, you could do a circle of reincarnation, the circle of life. Um, you could make it in the shape of, shape of an animal, a journey to a particular country. Questions and answers. Do it as like trivial pursuit, for example. Think about how you're going to challenge the player. Is it Could it be a game of luck or do you want it to be skill? 
uh, what kind of consequences are there for each move and so forth. So um, those are the ideas. But as I said, if you can't, if you really can't put it together with the resources that you have at home, then just describe to me in a few bullet points or in a short piece of writing how your board game would work and that would be absolutely fine. The key thing I do want to see from all of you and, the, and what I expect to see from all of you so I can give you proper feedback on this is an answer to this question. Do we have a duty to care for the environment? Um, there is a link to the uh, to a BBC bite uh, BBC bite size section that you might find useful in helping you, if you uh, with you on this, as well as obviously the notes that you've got written in your books. Um, but uh, this is your chance to write up your views on this topic and really, you know, think and explore those sort of deep and meaningful concepts. So some sentence starters are there to help you so you might want to think about why people may ask this question and what that means um, try to look at not uh, at multiple views on this question why some people might think we do have a duty to care for the environment and why some people might uh, think we do not have a duty to care for the environment and then link it to your own view and what this is based on and if you can try to refer to a key thinker who supports that idea okay so any questions drop me an email um, or have a look on our group on microsoft teams um, if uh, for uploading your work and um, ideally upload it to frog but if you're really stuck with that again drop me an email i'll make sure it's on the frog tree okay so best of luck with that and um who knows maybe i'll be assigning the crown to various students virtually wouldn't that be exciting see you later guys and best of luck